What's going on, everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger, and we are back at you again today with another Madden 25 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're going to be breaking down part one of the Gridiron Guardians promo in Muck 25 after a three hour delay. The content is finally here, so let's go through everything. We're going to start with the Gridiron Guardians welcome pack, which actually came out on time. The rest of the content was delayed in this welcome pack. You're going to get two players, and these players potentially can be upgraded all the way to a 95 overall. Some of it's going to be free, some of it's going to cost you, but you got 80 overall Dallas Goddard and Kyle Hamilton. Now, there is an objective in the Season 2 Field Pass to earn more Season 2 XP that requires two of these players in your lineup. So as soon as you get these guys, put them in your lineup. You can go tight end three on Goddard. You can go back up strong safety on Kyle Hamilton. Eventually one or both of them might start on the squad, but get them in your lineup so you can knock out that objective easily. So if you go into the upgrade path on either of the cards, you're going to see that you need these energy cell collectibles that you can add in there. And as you add them in, they're going to go up one in OVR. And potentially, like I said, these cards can actually go all the way to a 95 OVR. I believe you need 15 of the energy cell collectibles. So where do you get them? Well, the number one place is going to be the fail pass. Of course, also solo challenges. There will also be sets in the game where you can trade higher overall items from this promo in for energy cells that's where it's going to kind of eliminate the no money spent part of it because you're going to have to spend coins or money to get those cards but we got three sequences versus worth of solos here the first one you have to play through all three of these to unlock the second part and you got to beat the second part to unlock the third part because these are locked i don't know exactly how many solos are available right now but as you can see if you go into the milestone rewards Tier 1, you're going to get a Mega Energy Cell. You get some coins. You got an 81 Plus Pack. Tier 4, 55 stars. You get another one of those Energy Cell collectibles. In totality, and again, because this is a multiple part promo, you might not be able to unlock all of these, but in totality, it looks like you're going to be able to get three of the 15 collectibles needed to upgrade that player fully to a 95 OVR. And at the very end, which won't be available until next Thursday, when you do finish up all of the solos, it looks like you can either either take an 83 plus BND Gridiron Guardians card or an 81 plus auctionable. I do like that they actually added the plus to the auctionable pack this time. That's probably the route that I would go. Will you actually get something higher than an 81? I'm sure that the odds are slim, but that's a little bit of an improvement compared to some of the other solo challenge rewards that we've seen thus far. As I mentioned earlier in the video, check your season two field pass, go over to the program tab and you're going to see Gridiron Guardians Getting offensive yards with two plus players in your lineup will give you, once you knock out all of the milestone rewards within this objective tier, uh, 72,000 XP towards your season two field pass. Also, just want to quickly point it out, make sure you remember to do your daily objective for your Hispanic Heritage collectible token upgrade. If you've done your dailies for the last three days, you knocked out the weekly objectives, you played all of your solo challenges, you should be able to have, and this is including the strategy item, one of those players at an 89 OVR, with the second player being at an 87, and we are two days, Friday and Saturdays, daily objectives away from being able to get your second of the three Hispanic Heritage Month players up to that max OVR, again, factoring in the strategy item to an 89 OVR. So a little bit off tangent as far as the uh, Gridiron Guardians promo goes, but make sure you go knock out that objective. As far as the Gridiron Guardians field pass goes, like I said earlier, this is a multiple part promo, so you're not going to be able to max out the entire field pass. But once you go into it, you can scroll through all the rewards. It maxes out at level 16. Some of the rewards that we want to point out at level 14 and level 10, you're going to get your choice between an 80 six plus bnd gg player or an 83 overall non bnd gg player if you unlock these packs it's not a terrible idea to hang on to them and wait for part two of the promo to drop but me personally i would go with the 86 plus option on both of these packs looking through the available objectives right now i added up all of the xp that you can earn as of today and it looks like it is going to total 23,000 xp so if you go back to the rewards here, it looks like the furthest that you can get today before part two comes out on Thursday is going to be up to level 11, which is good news because that means you can get one of those 86 plus packs right now. 
Again, me personally, I'm going to hang on to that pack after I unlock it and open it up during part two. We also mentioned that you can get some of those mega energy cells within the field pass rewards. That's not the only place within the field pass that you can get them. So within the rewards in this field pass, you're going to get an additional four. Remember, you got three from the solos four from the field pass if you go back to the objective tab and down to the win game section you're going to see that this second objective uh winning games whether it's head-to-head -head, solo season solo battles or the super plays house rules which we'll show you in a moment uh when you hit these certain objective numbers 18 wins 36 wins 54 wins 72 wins you're going to get more of those energy cells so there's another total of four right here and it does say part one so i'm guessing when part two comes out there is a potential chance of seeing four more of those, but as it stands right now, free, without spending any currency, any money, you can get 11 of these collectibles, which judging by my math would mean that you can get either Kyle Hamilton up to a 91 OVR or the Dallas Goddard to a 91. Now, a couple of those you won't be able to earn because we are XP locked here on the field pass and same thing with solo challenges, but... If you get 11 from basically what's available right now, and again, some of them are going to be gated because of time, if we get an additional four next week, if they add a part two section to this, that will equal 15, which means you will be able to get all 15 collectibles without spending any currency to get those players up to a 95 OVR. And remember that 95 OVR is only good until October 17th after that. They will get brought back down to an 88 OVR, but that is good news. It looks like potentially one part two drops that everybody, if they want to engage in this promo, can get a free 95 OVR that will turn into a 98, or sorry, an 88 uh, after the promo comes to an end. So we do have a brand new house rules to play through here outside of getting wins in this house rules those that will contribute towards those win objectives in the field pass for the energy cells the additional rewards in here and by the way uh the rules in this one first person to get to 15 wins you get points for 25 yard first downs you get three points uh five points for an interception and then 10 points for a touchdown so it feels like these are going to be fairly quick games if you look at the reward structure, there's not any any energy cells in here. The wins are going to go towards the objective, but you do have an 81 plus or an 83 plus pack. The 83 plus is BND. The 81 is non BND. I'd probably take the non BND option there. Level three, which is going to be 30 wins, gives you two 86 plus BND GG packs. That's actually not a bad reward there. So I'd probably go for at least the 30 wins. I don't know if the 40 wins one is worth it, and it kind of depends on how fast these games really go, but this isn't a terrible reward. I thought it was only going to be 186 plus pack. The fact that you actually get two of them makes it a little bit more worthwhile. Now on to the cards. These leaked earlier in the week. The sets were actually in game for a little while. They're obviously back in there now that the promo is officially out, so... Five champions, Jerome Baker, Isaiah Pacheco, Chris Olave, DeMar Hamlin, and Zayvon Collins. I would say DeMar Hamlin's probably the best one out there. Jerome Baker, probably number two. Isaiah Pacheco, a close three. And then Olave's probably four. Zayvon Collins, probably the worst of the five. But with all five of these cards, the set requirements are going to be the same. 386 to 87 overall cards from any promo. And then two 86 overall Gridiron Guardian hero cards. You put all five of those into the set in return. You're going to get the champion of your choice. There are some lower overall sets. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, if you want to spend currency or cards on these energy cells, you can get four of them by exchanging 186 and 181 GG card. In return, you'd get the cell. I personally would not do this. I don't think it's worth it. I think it's way too costly. Yes, you can get to that 95 overall player a lot quicker, but ultimately they're going to be downgraded in two weeks and you're trading in things that are going to be valuable right now. And I think coin over anything right now, if I had these cards, I'd be selling them to make coin or completing one of these sets there. So I'm not going to go with the energy sell route there, but if you want to get to a 95 quicker, you certainly can. We do have two LTDs in packs as well with Legereus Sneed and Jake Matthews. Both 90 OVR cards, and if you take a look at any of the champions, well, I wanted to take a look at the champions or the LTDs. Basically, they don't have an extra ability bucket, 
like we saw in the breakouts promo they basically have like special x factors that have certain in-game requirements different from your standard x factors that will activate them so it's not really going to take up well they might take up ap as well uh, but i was thinking they maybe just be x factor slots i don't know unfortunately i can't show them to you within the catalog because i get a server error every time i try to go into the card so we'll have to discuss that at a later date i don't think any of them felt or looked really overpowered or like must have ability slash x factor so i don't think you're missing out on too much if you don't use them but those are going to be all of the cards the high-end cards that are in this promo finally we have pack offers and by the way uh, mutt leaks did tweet out some of the part two pack offer images it looks like Vita Vea and maybe an Eric Kendricks cards are on the way. Uh, they were on the images of the packs, so we can probably expect them for part two. As far as part one goes, we have a $10 pack, the Guardians Force pack, three 81 plus GG players, one 83 plus GG player, and then one 81 plus or Mega Energy cell. So they are putting those cells into the packs as well. If you want to spend money that way, I'm guessing it's going to be some type of uh, option pack where you can take the sell or the 81 plus slot. But the odds here on pulling a higher overall card out of this pack, not good at all. So I wouldn't really mess with that one. You actually have an energy cell pack here where you get two 81 pluses and two of the energy cells again. If you want to spend money to go out and get these collectibles to temporarily upgrade these players, go for it. I personally think it would be a waste of money. Yes, they'll be good right now, but long-term goals, they're going to get nerfed pretty soon there within two weeks, so I wouldn't be doing it. And then we have a $25 pack, one eighty-one plus, or a Mega Energy Cell, one eighty-three plus. And then the final slot appears to be an 83 plus or an 89 overall LTD, of course. It's always going to depend on the odds here. So this pack, we got a 3.9% chance at an 89 plus, a 20% chance at an 86 plus. And the last slot does give you a 50% chance at an 89 plus. So that's actually not half bad. I'll probably open this one up. I'm not going to take any of the sell options in there. I'll strictly open it up to go after the LTD or the higher overall items. But all in all, out of the three money packs or the special deals i think that's going to be the best one out there of course there is your 100 dollars bundle which also features a sell and an 89 overall champion i don't really think it's worth 100 dollars. none of the bundles this year really have been i haven't bought any outside of the very first legends weekend uh there is a coin pack stay away from it it's always just going to take your coins the motto on this channel is save your coins buy the players that you want don't risk them on packs. Some of you might get lucky. Most of you won't. won't. And then there is an 81 plus GG reroll pack. Rerolls have been bad for about two and a half years now. So this is one, unless you just have a bunch of training that you don't really care about, I would stay away. And one other thing to mention, which we all kind of expect that I talked about it in a video yesterday, I think it was, um, the season ticket upgrade token packs did get updated, not in price, but if you scroll all the way to the right here, you can now upgrade your season two players to an 89 OVR. So it does look like they adjusted the price. Originally they didn't, now they did. The 88 token used to be a little bit over a thousand tickets. It's now down to 760. So hopefully you guys were saving your tickets. You can see I almost have 7,000 of them to use. And if you don't want to upgrade any of the players, there's two other options you can go with. You can either buy some of these packs and hope to get lucky, or we can wait and see if these tickets transfer over to season three season tickets. I'm hoping we can get some official confirmation from EA. So all in all, what I would recommend doing is upgrading your players if you want to. Cooper DeGene is very good. Tyron Smith is very good. If you really need a quarterback, Michael Penix is solid. Brian Burns provides some pass rush. I wouldn't touch Stefan Diggs. I wouldn't use the Kirk Cousins card. So if you want to upgrade those cards to their max of 89 OVR, you certainly can. I would not touch these packs right now. If you don't do any upgrades, I would hang on to the tickets until further notice before we get confirmation to see if they will convert over to, to Season 3. Because if they do, this would be a great way to get a really good jump start on the Season 3 free play when they come out in a couple weeks so that's it for now go knock out your solos work on that field pass 
Get those wins, whichever game mode you go about doing it, whatever is best for you, go knock those out. But at this point, I would really just try to get all of the free energy cells that are out there. Don't spend your cards, don't spend your currency on them. In one part two of this promo rolls around, you'll be able to fully max out that player. Uh, and by the way, I probably should have mentioned it, Kyle Hamilton, I think, is the better option of the two fully upgraded to a 95 OVR. And at the end of it, when they get back down to an 88, he's probably still going to be the best option. I'm out of here for now. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Popular Stranger, and I'm out. Peace.